pay no attention to the clothing behind the curtain. Um, hey y'all, welcome back. Um, social isolation, everybody. Let's talk about online shopping, because that's the only shopping a lot of us will be doing for a very long time. Yeah, so I have this problem with this website called Amazon. Everything I own is from Amazon. Um, but if I had to narrow it down to my top, I think I have 10 items here. This is what I would buy items, but not my most, these are from like, not like my, my least favorite, but like or the last one will be my most favorite item. Uh, is this bathing suit top. Um, it's super simple. Um, it goes great with high-waisted bottoms. I think it came with black high-waisted bottoms and then you can tie it however you want in the back. These are totally adjustable because the strings are super, super long. It is padded. Um, the pads are not sewn in, which is like my utter pet peeve. Uh, I have an extra large and I wish I had a double extra large because for those of us who are blessed in the chests, but it fits me just fine. Um, I can just tighten the straps. And it has these three things that you can, you know, tighten, loosen, whatever you want. You can crisscross it, you can make it a halter. It's totally adjustable. I freaking love it. And it was super cheap. I will post a picture of it on the model so you can see what it actually looks like. So editing Amanda here, and um, it's currently not available on Amazon. RIP, sorry. They have other bathing suits that are uh, from this company that are available though, so you can try those. I'm assuming they fit in a similar way. Next is a kitchen thing, my reusable sponges. Um, these ones are not available on Amazon right now that I can find. Um, it came with a teal one too, um, but they sell them everywhere. They're pretty generic. They're just reusable sponges. They're really cute, came in a two pack. They're like five bucks. And uh, sponges really gross me out, and I can put this in the dishwasher, because like it just it just absorbs bacteria. I don't know. It, sponges always freak me out, so I really like this because I can literally see the bacteria being rinsed off of it, and I can throw it in the dishwasher, and then I know it's clean, and it's better for the environment. So because I'm reusing it, so reusable sponges. This purse. Um, it is snakeskin here, but on the back it's just black. So depending on how cool you want to be, you could wear it this way, you could wear it this way. This is my second one of these. I have this in another, in like just brown, like the whole thing is just brown. Um, and that one currently has all my crap in it. <laughs> um, this is such a great bag. It has so many zipper compartments. It has a long strap, it like, uh, you can shorten it. There's two zipper compartments on the inside. This zips, it has a hook. And like you could actually fit stuff in here. It's the perfect crossbody bag. You could be like, nope, just black today. And like, it's just so cute. It's just literally so cute. Ooh, I messed this up real good. Oh well, um, this tie dye little sundress. It's just like a cute little sundress for the summer. Um, but it was super cheap and I just loved the black tone. And we're back. Um, so I actually ordered this dress a really long time ago. Um, and now of course it's also not available anymore on Amazon, but hopefully it'll get restocked. Um, the next thing I'm about to show you, I'm pretty sure, is by the same brand and is available as of right now when I am watching and recording and editing this. Super comfy, too. Uh, I wear an extra large in that. I think this is actually from the same company, if I'm not mistaken. But this little black sundress is so comfortable. And it has pockets. Like, come on. How can you beat a dress? with pockets. Um, also wear an extra large. Like I said, I think they're actually made by the same company. Kind of flares out. Super comfortable for vacation or as a beach cover up. Like, great, great, great. Then, this is gonna seem weird, but remember this is like a partially like an art stationary type of channel. These pens. <laughs> These Muji pens, uh, all the way from Japan. Uh, when I got them, the whole package was in Japanese, the whole nine yards. This is the 0.50 um, ballpoint. 
they just they write so smooth I love them for my, for my bullet journal they're perfect but ink lasts forever it came in a pack of three I haven't even gone through one yet and I use them constantly and the cap fits on the other end so you don't lose it that's like a pet peeve of mine I just love these pens and the only thing if you fine line with them you need to really let them dry before you color over them with any sort of marker because they'll smudge but they don't smudge like when you write but if you're gonna put like alcohol markers over it or highlight over them you need to wait for them to dry um i would say ooh, a couple minutes to a couple hours to be really honest with you um, so I tend to only write over them in my bullet journal. I tend to like write with them. I don't use them for fine lining or anything like that. I like to use the microns because microns are much better for that. Um, my Ohuhu markers that I got from Amazon, they're alcohol markers. I think I have the, the 48 set. Yeah, the 48 set. Um, plus these little marker storage containers. I actually have three of these, but I just, I'm already spilling things everywhere so I'm not gonna take the rest of them off my desk but Ohuhu markers are such good alcohol markers such good alcohol markers I do wish that the color of the cap matched the actual color that they are a little better but you should always swatch your art supplies anyway because you never know um, and I wish that there were more pastel colors in this set um, like I said a lot of these look light but they're these are not meant to be picked up. <laughs> they're actually pretty dark. Um, it does come with the colorless blender and they're great, great quality. They don't stink that bad. The cap fits on the other end and then they have, get a pretty color. They have the chisel tip and then on the other side they have a brush tip. Ooh, uh, the coveted brush tip. And you always know which side the brush has because it has the gray line. And if you don't want to put the cap on the other end, they have this cute little, like, don't roll away thingy um, that I really like. And they have not only the number, but they also have the name of the color on here. So you can identify them in two different ways, especially if you're, like, buying multiple sets to try to get all the colors. Because, um, unfortunately, they don't sell singles. They also came with a case, but I don't know what the case is. It is somewhere in my art section behind you. Um, but I really love both of these. These like plastic marker storage things come in a set of three, or you can get a set of three plus two like cup storage um, things that I didn't buy just because I tend to keep a lot of my markers and art supplies in like mugs and stuff. Obviously this is a Ray Dunn mug because we gotta be on brand here, folks. Um, but honestly, like, I'm probably going to buy more of these just to have a nice clean storage system. I, there go my pens, just dropping everything. Um, and so this would be really good for paint brushes, for makeup brushes. It would honestly, like, anything you want to store that, like, is hard to store, like, the lipsticks. Ooh. I want to store. No, okay. I don't, I'm getting, like, excited about organizing shit again. <laughs> um, but yeah really really like these they're top of the list for sure and now my final favorite thing i've ever bought from amazon is this phone case i love this phone case it was like don't quote me but i think it was like six dollars it is rubbery it has pretty good sidewall protection um, the clear part has not turned yellow yet, which if you've ever had a clear foam case, you know, is a hot miracle. It's not glittery, but it kind of has like an iridescence to it because a lot of the, I love, love, love leopard print, but a lot of leopard print things are sparkly and like, not a sparkly girl. I'm a neutral Nelly. Everything I wear is either leopard print gray or black literally everything <laughs> um so this was perfect for me because it has a little bit of the 
iridescence to it but it's also leopard and it goes I always like to have just like a black pop socket um, this one does have texture on it I don't know if you can kind of see that um, and it like doesn't make me feel too crazy it's comfortable it protects my phone I've dropped my phone <laughs> too many times uh, I'm a serial phone dropper um, so this is a good quality case to have and it was just so so cheap I would buy other cases from this brand 100% for sure. Um, I have an iPhone XR, so it definitely comes for the XR. I don't know about other uh, phones, but when I got my XR, I got it in the summer and I had like a summery case on it and I wanted to switch. So this is my winter case and I think it'll be my forever case because I love it. And yeah, so those are my top one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine 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 things i got from amazon i got the velvet hangers the dresses are on from amazon too love those your clothes don't slip off them i think they're cheaper at tj maxx though so just buy them at tj maxx but velvet hangers really great too if that makes it 10. uh top 10 things i got from amazon that i use constantly and love i've gotten so many other things from amazon so if you ever want to see an amazon video just let me know because Literally all I do is shop on Amazon. I even buy my paper towels on Amazon because they're cheaper. I am a cheapskate. It's true. You found me out. But yeah, comment down below. Let me know what you want to see. Thanks for watching. Bye!